Hey everyone, this is Disk Junkie, and today it's time to check out the brand new limited edition of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now this is the 40th anniversary box set. This uh, sort of Black Maria truck version will actually hit the streets on October 14th. However, you could pre-order this exclusively at Gorgon Video and they started shipping it on September 16th. First up, uh, I want to mention that we got a couple of these uh, spec stickers. Uh, this originally was uh, tacked to the bottom of the box using that easy to remove uh, glue dots. So these are the specs for the four or well actually five disc edition because as you can see here also contains a exclusive bonus disc which is uh, the Cine Family Presents Friedkin Hooper a uh, conversation about the text chainsaw massacre between William Friedkin and Tobe Hooper. Something uh, special which wasn't even advertised. I didn't even know about it until, until I uh, received the box and actually started going through the stuff. So that's pretty cool. Here's just a sticker which was on the outside in case you want to read up on that as well. Now let's go ahead and just turn this around, get a good look at it. This is a uh, really extremely fucking sturdy box. It's one of those old school boxes which comes with like the really thick cardboard and then you got like a quality paper which has been glued on so you can sort of see the seams here. And uh, you can actually notice this is one thing which I spotted pretty early on. Yeah, damage at the this specific corner uh, and the same at the other side. I can tell you that I actually have two of these boxes in my possession and it's exactly the same type of damage on both so I don't think you're gonna get away from that. Still, you know, it's it's pretty okay. I was pleasantly surprised by the quality on this. Looking at the back, we got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the back of the truck. Notice the little Massacre license plate there. And then we got this very thick, sturdy uh, black plastic handle, which I thought was an interesting touch. So what you do is, you pull on the handle and you get this completely separate pull-out box. And I thought this was a really clever design choice because then you can actually choose to display it like this if you want to get a full-size display or if you're just going to stash it away somewhere and want to minimize the space just push it together, put it in the shelf. I think it works good for uh, whatever type of collector you are. Looking at the interior, as you can tell really well built and solid on the inside as well. I don't know why they got these in here. I'm sure it's some kind of technical aspect to give it a bit more height in the bottom, I don't know. Uh, looking at the interior, we got these nice little compartments. First up is the limited edition uh, Blu-ray version. And like I said, this is uh, exclusive to this specific uh, release. You can't actually get this uh, design on the case or this content anywhere else uh, because even though I'm just gonna pull this out this is the regular uh, four disc anniversary collector's edition so these two have the same four discs uh, but this exclusive limited edition adds a fifth one uh, which is not available in the standard release just wanted to mention that and uh, if you do want to know more about the four disc standard version uh, you can check my other videos because I will be uploading a uh, review of that as well Anyway, a closer look at the discs, if you will. Each disc is designed as a wheel on the truck, which I thought was pretty interesting. Felt like a daring choice and not something uh, that you would do as a standard. I wasn't really expecting it. And there is, as you can see, the limited edition exclusive bonus disc. Closer look at the fold-out poster. Which I gotta say, I really like this new design and uh, yeah, I wouldn't have mind if they had used this for the cover because it's an absolutely uh, beautiful presentation. Can't actually believe that this is a standard Blu-ray case and they actually fit five discs in here, but maybe that's just me being old-fashioned. Next up we got the apron, very red blood on it. Doesn't this look especially realistic, but still a pretty thick and... Uh, luxurious uh, looking apron. Not sure if you can pick up on this, but it's a very thick print. Not really the cheap apron you might expect. You hang it over your neck and uh, yeah, the, the print is, you can see they sort of cut off the print here. 
I don't know, it's okay, but uh, quite frankly, I might as well have been without this. It's not really my favorite thing. And here is a small close-up of the uh, copyright info, which is printed on the on the apron, in case you want to see what that's all about. But uh, Notice that we even have, have Leatherface in the blood spatter down there at the end. So anyway, uh, I guess that's it. Oh yeah, there is actually uh, one more thing which I wanted to mention. When you pre-order this from uh, the Gorgon video website, you actually received a free copy of Tube Hooper's uh, Eaten Alive, the two disc special edition. Just a standard keep case. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, but just want to mention that. <laughs> fucking Americans! Fuck the fucking fuck! Ah! We got the two disc uh, special edition version of Eaten Alive here, which was included as a total freebie. Yeah, that's what that looks like. There's the back. And I didn't actually own this, so what? Pretty fun that they included it. That is it from me today. I really hope you enjoyed this very cool box set and as usual, hope to see you all next time.